Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Twit Specials is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Hey, Chad, at the Sony Booth E3 2013. Now, we are going to get to check out very, very exciting Beyond Two Souls. Victoria is here with me to help me make sure that I don't look like a complete noob in the game and also give us a little bit of background. How are you doing, Victoria? Doing pretty well. So, Beyond is the story of Jodie Holmes, who, as you may know, is played by Ellen Page. And over the course of the game, you're going to play through her life key moments from the time she's eight years old until she's 23. So in this level here, our demo, she's a CIA agent, and she's been tasked with finding a warlord named Jamal. So you've been put into Somalia, and it's your job to find and eliminate this warlord. So I'm going to go ahead and give the controls to you. One of the things you're going to notice is that we've tried our best with the combat to do away with the quick time events as much as possible. So you're going to get some tutorial on that. And um, also, you're going to be able to play as both Jody and Aiden, the entity that is connected to her. Um, and that's one of the reasons the CIA recruited her is because she has these special powers. OK, so now I'm in control of Aiden, and I'm sort of looking around. Oh, let's let's aim for that guy. He's highlighted in red. That makes me think that, that he, he's a bad guy. The, well, you have the instructions on here, but the L1 button will lock onto a target. And Aiden has a number of different abilities. This one that you're just using was the choke. You can also possess people or blast objects in the environment. Very cool. So I'm getting, I sort of have this way to control him with both sticks. Um, and let's go ahead and choke him again. I don't think I choked him hard enough. It's time, time to die, you insurrectionist. Um, and there he goes. He's down. OK, so as Aiden, he's, he's almost a little, um, uh, I can lock on to characters uh, using the L1. Here we go. We got another one. That's right. Okay, let's go get a better. Here we are. Oh, looks like I'm going to smash down this wall. I'm sure that throughout the game, muscle memory will become much easier. So here you're going to see our new combat system. And it's not quick time events. The game's going to slow down and wait for input from the player using the analog stick. So you're going to try and finish Jody's move. So here. She's moving back, you're going to move back as well. Got it. So it's very intuitive. It's like, um, listen, I think that using just a stick, it's time for her to move forward, down, and uh, down again. And then are these uh, to the side? Oh, that was bad. Uh, back, back, back up. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. X, 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 X. So uh, this seems more intuitive. Is is there multiple ways that the scene can play out? Sure, even even down to the combat, depending on whether you're succeeding or failing at these moves, you're going to see different choreography in the fighting. And there's also, within the game, many different ways to solve a lot of the challenges that you're presented. So sometimes you might be possessing a character, and sometimes you might be just kind of brute force going in. Wow, OK. I just, I just made him slice his own neck open. That was kind of insane. All of these events seem so handcrafted. And I mean, I assume Ellen is acting out all of these. Is it true? I mean, how, it almost seems like you couldn't do this for, for an entire game because there's, there's just too much to it. There's too much handcrafted material. Do you happen to know how long playing through this game will take? The game's going to take about 10 hours, and to your point about it being ha uh, very handcrafted, um, I know Ellen spent four weeks with the team doing motion capture, and every single acting scene that you see is Ellen acting. We did full performance capture, 64 cameras, voice and body capture at the same time to create like really seamless experience for the users. This, is, this looks awesome. Um, any availability for uh, Beyond Two Souls? Beyond Two Souls is coming out on PlayStation 3, October 8th. October 8th. Well, we can look forward to Beyond Two Souls. Then, let's go play some more games.